You asked and I delivered. Welcome back to the channel, Book Dragons. I'm really glad you're here with me. As you may have seen in my last video, I have a new BookTube studio space. I had asked in the video if anyone would be interested in a new bookshelf tour. And I got enough of a response that I decided to go ahead and do it. I kind of wanted to do a new bookshelf tour anyway, just to let you guys see the space. So I'll be showing you my new studio area, but we'll be specifically focusing on the bookshelf tour. So let's go right ahead and jump into it. I hope you really enjoy this, and here we go. All right, my friends, here we are. I've moved my chair aside for the time being, but that is the chair that I sit in for my videos. That's my new desk chair. So I thought you might like to catch a glimpse of that. There's my box light, of course. My nice, lovely desk. Uh, this is actually my workspace, so <laughs> that's where I sit when I do work. And, of course, we've got uh, my pictures on the wall there. There is Valerian the Black Dread. That's my print of him. That was designed by Lindsay Berker, who is the cover designer for my first book, Talendor's Guest. So she created that as well. Uh, we've got others up there on the wall. Uh, and these have been in my space prior to this. They were just on a different wall. So there we go. I'm going to zoom out there. And we're going to go over to my bookcase and we're gonna start on the top row there and these are the mountains of madness volume one and the call of cthulhu by hp lovecraft and i've got my little lego ship there as well <laughs> this next shell showcases the rise of the dragon by george r, r. martin and the good omens television companion so if you have watched Good Omens Season 1 and 2, you kind of know what that's all about. And of course, I've got my pop vinyls of Aziraphale and Crowley there. Oh, Aziraphale, what are you doing hanging out on Charles' chair? I'm here because I need to be, Crowley. I don't know why you're here. Sorry, guys. Ah, bad voices, but hey, what do you do? i got to entertain you guys somehow. <laughs> Uh, this next is just kind of a miscellaneous shelf. I've got Peace and Turmoil by Elliot Brooks there. The Winwing Flame Trilogy by Jen Williams. The Ninth Rain, Bitter Twins, and The Poison Song. We've got The Briar Sword Monk and The King Killing Queen by Sean Speakman. And this is the Phoenix Comic Con edition of Unfettered. It was just a selection of short stories from the full edition of unfettered but it is all signed by the authors so that's kind of cool scott ling book there meddling kids a slow regard of silent things by patrick rothfuss and a literary fiction collection of short stories called slow homecoming by peter hankey uh, i haven't read it but a friend of mine got it for me i've got some Little zines here by Adam W. Rodriguez that he had sent me. I've got those there. And then, of course, I've got Percy Jackson and the Olympians series right there. And a little hand-painted dragon that, that a friend of mine made for me. So that's kind of cool. And moving down here, we've got my nonfiction shelf. There's the illustrated Walden by Thoreau, Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life by Wayne Dyer, Wheels of Life, book about the chakras, The Tao Te Ching, translated by Ursula K. Le Guin, Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, So You Think You're Irish, just a little book about everything that is Irish. <laughs> uh, Food Rules by Michael Pollan, that's quite a neat little book with quips about eating of foods. It's Okay to Be Angry About Capitalism by Bernie Sanders. 
Dow the Water Course Way by Alan Watts, Questions or the Answer by David Hayward, and A Book of Dad Jokes. And of course, you recognize this little guy right here. This is my channel mascot. All right. So down here we have H.P. Lovecraft, The Complete Collection, Edgar Allan Poe, Stories and Poems, The Brothers Grimm, Grimm's Fairy Tales, and Tales of Horror by H.P. Lovecraft, just another collection of his. And of course, down here, you know I'm a Doctor Who fan. So that is the 10th Doctor, the 11th Doctor, and a Zygon. And I have not taken those out of the box. They're just, uh, you know, just collector's items, I guess. And then we got our final shelf down here. This is my Tolkien shelf, actually. So we've got the Silmarillion, Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. The Lord of the Rings trilogy is all illustrated by Alan Lee. And The Silmarillion is illustrated by Ted Naismith. And then, of course, we've got The Silmarillion, The Hobbit, and The Lord of the Rings. The new illustrated editions with illustrations by Tolkien. That's my original movie edition of The Lord of the Rings. I've got another version of The Hobbit there. And then I have The Fall of Numenor, Tales from the Perilous Realm, and The Children of Hurin. And then right on the end, there is a nice illustrated edition of The Hobbit as well. So that is all from my Tolkien shelf. Now we're going to move up here. Ooh! All right, guys. Right at the top shelf of my bookshelf is my book, Talendor's Guest. And on either side, we've got a couple of tarot decks. This is the Phantom Wise Tarot, designed by Aaron Morgenstern. And the Literary Tarot, put together by various different authors and illustrators. And Aaron Morgenstern is actually a part of that as well. Uh, I've got my statue of Horus there in the back. And a little plushy there. So, uh, moving down, this is my Neil Gaiman shelf. Now, when I do my videos, this is one of the shelves that you'll be able to see the most prominently. Uh, right on the end there, we have Odd and the Frost Giants. We have the View from the Cheap Seats, which is Neil Gaiman's collection of nonfiction essays and thoughts that he's written. The Illustrated Ocean at the End of the Lane. Trigger Warning, American Gods, Norse Mythology, Neverwhere, my original paperback copy of Ocean at the End of the Lane, and the three-book collection of Fortunately the Milk, Coraline, and the Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. We have Unnatural Creatures, Stardust, Fragile Things, Smoke and Mirrors, my original paperback copy of Neverwhere, Right there next to it is The Thief of Always by Clive Barker. Now, you may wonder why I put him there. That's because he has a very similar writing style I've found to Neil Gaiman, so I thought it would be appropriate to put him there. Uh, and then, of course, my illustrated edition of Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. Moving right along, we have The Night Circus, my illustrated copy of The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, one of my all-time favorite collector's books. And then, of course, the original copy of The Night Circus is right there next to it, The Starless Sea, The Ballad of Black Tom, one of my favorite books there, uh, The Scythe Trilogy, Scythe, Thunderhead, and The Toll, the mass market paperback editions of A Song of Ice and Fire there, by George R. R. Martin. Right next to it, we have Night Flyers, a sci-fi space opera of his, and then, of course, Fire and Blood right there on the end. And here we have Nightmare, Shade, and the Animal by Chad Nicholas. Fantastic books there. I highly recommend them. Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares. And the first three collector's editions of the Dune Saga. Dune, Dune Messiah, and Children of Dune. I've got the Illumicrate edition of Empire of the Vampire there that was kindly gifted to me. I have Arcanum Unbounded by Brandon Sanderson. That's the collection of his Cosmere short fiction. 
and the Merlin Trilogy by Mary Stewart. This is my graphic novel shelf, and I've got the Lock and Key series there, White Sand, and all of my Sandman collection. And there, of course, is my little dragon trinket box. Uh, this down here is, it's under my shelf because these are books I'm planning to unhaul eventually. So, there we go. And we're moving back up to the top again here. This is my main mass market paperback shelf. And you can see on either end, I've got the statues from Lord of the Rings. I can't remember what they're called at this point, but yes, they're from Lord of the Rings. And we've got the Princess Bride there. We've got Mistborn, the Final Empire. First King of Shannara, Scions of Shannara, the Druid of Shannara, the Elf Queen of Shannara, and the Talismans of Shannara. And then right next to it, we've got Isle Witch, which is the first book in the Voyage of the Jural Shannara trilogy. And then we've got the Genesis of Shannara right there. And then we have the Hannibal Lecter series by Thomas Harris, Red Dragon, Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal, and Hannibal Rising. And then on this shelf, um, this shelf is currently empty, except for just little odd trinkets, but eventually I'll probably put some books here. Uh, that, of course, is my Stein of Power. Um, <laughs> an Egyptian obelisk and a black and gold rimmed jackal. And then, of course, I've got a light that I can use at nighttime if I need extra light. All right, we've got V.E. Schwab down on this shelf. We've got Gallant, Vicious, and Vengeful. The Shades of Magic trilogy, the, the original one anyway, A Darker Shade of Magic, A Gathering of Shadows, and A Conjuring of Light. I have The Prophet of Adan and Return to Adan. These are the arcs that I was sent by Philip Chase. I don't have the first book in physical copy yet, but I will eventually get that, I think. And then we have Michael Moorcock's Elric Saga. Uh, so that first one is the new book that he recently released called The Citadel of Forgotten Myths. And then we've got Elric of Melnibone, Stormbringer, and The White Wolf. Those are the three collector's editions of all the short stories and novels. And then moving down here, we've got Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. Or Stein, not sure. <laughs> Probably Stein, I, I don't know. Uh, there is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. The Complete Collection of Sherlock Holmes. The Picture of Dorian Gray and Treasure Island. And then we've got Blade Runner by Philip K. Dick. Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, technically. And then we've got Carmilla. And this is actually a new edition of Carmilla uh, that, I, that I just bought. I originally read the ebook, but I found this for really inexpensive at a local independent bookstore here in Phoenix. So there's that. And, of course, I've got my nice little dragon statue there. Uh, what collection would be complete without a Dalek? And I've got the TARDIS. It's kind of the, the pop. It's not pop vinyl, but it's uh, similar to pop vinyl. Uh, and it's the, uh, the ghost TARDIS. So, yeah. So that's that. Coming down here... We have The Books of Ursi by Ursula K. Le Guin, the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling, and The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. And then on this final shelf down here, these are unread physical books. Now, this isn't all of them because some of them I've got scattered in different places on my shelf, but this is the bulk of what's left of the physical books I've not read on my shelf. So, we've got Sparring Partners by John Grisham. It's a collection of short stories. We've got The Justice of Kings by Richard Swan. The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. The Green Rider by Kristen Britton. Bloodlines by Peter Hartog. The Watchful Dead by Joe Pawlowski. Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. If It Bleeds by Stephen King. The Legend of Black Jack by A.R. Witham. 
The Bone Ships by R.J. Barker, Knights of Halcruz by Lars Jensen, and The Child Thief by Brom. So, yeah, guys, that is the main bulk of my collection there. You can kind of get a glimpse of all of it there. I rather like how my setup has turned out. I've got my books all accessible to me. So that concludes this very quick bookshelf tour. I hope you've enjoyed it. Now let's go wrap everything up. All right, so that is it. What do you think? Pretty cool, eh? I kind of think so. I hope you have really enjoyed this little glimpse into my new filming area, checking out my new bookshelf. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And until next time, guys, make sure you read more books. I'll be talking with you soon.